Okay, so hey guys, so today I wanted to share with you an updated lipstick storage and collection video. I said in my last makeup collection and storage video that I wanted to show you my updated version of how I'm storing my lipsticks. I have rearranged this a lot as if you watched my last makeup storage and collection which has gotten like 70 or 80 views which is pretty nice so thanks guys. Um, I have moved around other stuff. I actually did get another new holder as well. I actually didn't even buy this. I just found this in my, I don't know if you can see what I'm pointing to, the one that's holding my MAC lipsticks right here. I found this in my um, closet and I was like, ooh, another extra lipstick holder. Like, my mom keeps a lot of stuff in like a closet of like restock of like medical stuff and like, you know, like first aid and stuff like that, band-aids and she just has like random stuff in there for like our bathrooms. So she had like a a 12 lipstick holder. I think this was my sister's when she had her own storage for makeup here. And that's where I keep another storage for another 12 lipstick holder right here, like in here for my Lime Crime. So I think that she had an extra one from her and my sister doesn't live here anymore. She lives in the city, so that's why she had the extra one. Anyway, so that's what the point of the video is. So I have rearranged how I store my lipsticks. I mean, the front has stayed the same, but everything else I have rearranged, and I'm going to share with you what I've done. So in the front here, because I, like I said, I did receive new lipsticks, and um, I did post a haul video right after I posted my makeup collection because I got new lipsticks that were coming out and new palettes and stuff like that, but this is how the storage is going to stay for now, but honestly my lipsticks are still overwhelming me. I feel like I never am able to wear my lipsticks enough, but I'm trying and it's just like, if I could throw out half of these, I would be happy, but that would be such a waste of money, so I try to use them whenever I can. My boyfriend hates when I wear lipstick though, because then he can't kiss me enough. He gets so, um mad that I wear lipstick all the time and he's like it's always coming off on me I'm like well you know <laughs> sorry but anyway um so in the front here I have all my makeup monsters like with lipsticks um as you guys know these this is like one of my favorite brands ever they're like in my top three um so here I have the shade raw which is the nude shade then I have blush which is this really pretty orangey nude shade then I have flutter which is this gorgeous pale pink then I have Cherry Moya, which is a little bit more pink toned than Flutter. Then I have Sedona, which is one of my all-time favorite liquid lipsticks. It's this gorgeous uh, pink-brown lipstick. It's so unique. Then I have Terracotta, which is this really gorgeous warm light brown shade. Then I have Cornucopia. I don't know if I can... Okay, you can. Then I have Cornucopia. Sorry, this lippy stick is always falling. Ugh, it drives me crazy. Then I have Cornucopia, which is this gorgeous orangey red. And then I have Redwood, which is one of my all-time favorite dark red colors, if not my all-time favorite. Then I have similar, similarly packaged liquid lipsticks here. The only lipsticks that I have in this holder, or this whole, like, 24 holders, are these right here and my lippy sticks here. Um, but I decided to store my lipsticks that have the similar packaging to Makeup Monsters here. But these lipsticks I think were made before Makeup Monsters. I think definitely Dose of Colors was first. But anyway, I have my two Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks here. I have Stone and Truffle. I actually really love these now. I have posted my updated Battle of the Liquid Lipsticks video. You can go check that out and I talk about Updated formulas that I've tried, like new brands that I've tried, like Makeup Monsters, Dose Colors, Jeffree Star, etc. These are all brands that I hadn't tried before. So I've tried like five new brands of lipsticks, so of liquid lipsticks. I, I do try and see like what's better out there, but honestly, I still love my Makeup Monsters a lot more than the newer brands that I've tried because this is the newest brand that I've tried um, since like my all time favorites, and this is still one of my all time favorite liquid lipsticks here. Um, then I have my two Jeffree Star here. I have I'm Nude and Androgyny. These are actually a lot better than I thought. They're still not, I still feel like they're thick, but they're not really that drying. But 
they're comfortable, but they're not like as comfortable as like makeup monsters, but they're still good. I really like them actually. They don't flake, they don't go anywhere, so they're really, really nice. So I have those two here. And then I have two Urban Decay Revolutionary lipsticks. I think it's revolutionary. Is it revolution or revolutionary? Um it does not say. <laughs> but anyway, um, it's just the standard Urban Decay lipsticks. Um they're not the sheer ones, but they are, they're matte. I forget which ones these are, the finish is actually called. So I have Naked 2 and Native here. And then I have one new one from Gwen Stefani. I actually haven't worn this one yet. This is probably the only lipstick in my collection I haven't worn now because, like I've told you, I've actually finally worn every single lipstick that I have now. Um, but this is what it looks like. I'm super excited to use it. I was going to use it today, but I wasn't able to work today. Um... But this is the packaging. It's so beautiful. I'm hoping to use it on Wednesday, hopefully, when I go back to work. So we'll see. And then I have one Tarte Amazonian Clay Lipstick. This is, like, probably the lipstick I wear the least in my collection. I really need to wear this. Um, I was going to post a product I need to use these month, this month, but it's already, like, mid-March. And I feel like it's going to be too late, but... That's what that one looks like. It is a really pretty lipstick. I have to use it at some point. Um, then I have all of my ColourPop lippy sticks in this row here. I have eight of them. I actually have three more, but I just store those with other ones in my room. You've seen my um, ColourPop In Bloom collection. I've shown that in a haul a bunch of times. Um, but those are more summery shades, so I just keep those in my room. So, these are my eight ColourPop W6. I believe this one is, oh my god, this one is Skimpy. Then I believe this one's Cookie. Then Oh Snap. Then Contempo. Lumiere. Aquarius. Grunge. And Taurus. Right? Or is that Taurus? Yeah, that one's Taurus and this one is Grunge. Like I've said before, I like keeping the Kathleen Lights ones together because four of these are Kathleen Light shades and then, um, no, three. Three are Kathleen Light shades and five of them are uh, regular ColourPop shades. Um, but I like keeping um, hers together, so that's why the only reason why the nude shade Aquarius is down here. Um, but this one, like the label, the sticker on the bottom just like keeps on coming off so that's why it's just harder for me to store this one but it has the shade name on it so I don't want to like peel it off so yeah I'm just gonna keep that right here drives me crazy then back here I have all of my ColourPop Ultra Matte lipsticks I have 13 of them you guys know how inexpensive these are they're only six dollars a piece that's why I have so many the cost of like three of these is the cost of like one of these back here so Honestly, so worth it to me. So I have 13 of them. You guys know how much I love ColourPop Ultra Matte Lipsticks. So here, the first shade is, I believe, Midi. Yes. There's this really pretty nude shade. Then I have Trap, which is this gorgeous... No, this is Trap. This one is Platform, which is this really pretty orangey nude. Then I have Trap, which is this really pretty gray nude. Then I have Shim Shimmy. Yes, which is this really pretty pale pink. Not as pale pink as the Makeup Monsters ones. This one's a little bit more like a blushy pink. It's really pretty. Then I have um, first... Is this first base? No, this is Clueless, which is really pretty mauve pink. Then I have first base, which is like one of my favorite summer shades. It's a really gorgeous um, pink shade. These do separate, but they're still good. Like, they separate after you don't use them for a while. I haven't used these in a while. Um... Then I have Lumiere 2, which is Kathleen Light's shade. I've worn this one a couple of times already. I really love it. Then we have Instigator, which is this really pretty orangey color. That's my favorite formula-wise, and so is this one. Oh, wait. This is Bumble, though. I still love this one a lot. Then we have um, Chili Chili, which is amazing. I love this one. Then we have... Uh, ooh, <laughs> oh, my God. I believe this one is Beeper. Yeah, this is a really gorgeous shade, one of my favorites. I need to have a ColourPop Ultra Matte Week at some point and wear some of my ColourPop ones I haven't worn. Then I have Creeper, which is like one of my all-time favorite reds. Then I have Tool, which, no, Avenue. That one's not my absolute favorite, but that's a really pretty dark red. 
Then I have Tool, which is my absolute favorite, one of my absolute favorites. It's amazing. It's just this really pretty, deep, uh, reddish brown color. So that's it for my ColourPop Ultra Matte Lips over there. I have some over there too. Then I have two Galactic Matte Lip Paints here. I have Bashful and uh, Sweet. I don't really love these too much, but I, I'm just not going to go into my opinion too much of these because you guys can just watch that updated liquid lipstick video where I share my opinion on each of the new formulas I have tried. So let's just move on. So then I have my Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks back here. Um, I like storing like the tallest sheet like packaging in the back just because it's easier so it won't fall down all the time. So here I have Noble, then Melancholia, then uh, Lovesick, Bow and Arrow, and Lolita. Um, this is like an orangey nude. This one's like a pale pink. This one is Lovesick, which is a like mauvey pink, then Bow and Arrow, which is like the one everybody's going after. It's this really gorgeous brown color. And then Lolita, obviously you guys know Lolita's amazing. Then I have three Stila Stay All Day Lipo lipsticks here. I have Patina, Fiore, and Fiery. Fiery is one of my favorites. I love that color. These are all amazing though. I wear Fiore so much in the summertime and Patina is just a great nude. Well, not really a nude. I like the Stila colors because they're very unique and they come out with shades like not every other brand really has and they're really, really nice. They're like unique everyday colors, you know? I have three here and I have one over here, um, but I'll explain why I have another Stila one over there. So then let's get into what's over here. So here in the front, I have my MAC lipsticks. This one has not changed whatsoever. This is basically the same as the last video, but I'll just go through it again really quick because I love my MAC lipsticks. Um, so here we have High Tea, then um, Honey Love, right? Honey Love, then Velvet Teddy, then Pillow Talk, Among the Fireflies, and one that I don't remember the name. It's one of my older ones. I probably need to get rid of it. Then I have Stone, and then uh, Whirl. Um, but I'm, I might have to clean out some of these lipsticks at some point, at least five or six of them, because... I do notice that some of my Too Faced Melted lipsticks are going bad, but I'm starting to keep them over here, but I'll go through them in a second. Um, but I feel like if I just get rid of like six lipsticks, I'll feel so much better about my lipsticks, but I don't want the spaces to be empty, but we'll figure it out. Um, then I have two NARS Audacious lipsticks here. I have Raquel and Brigitte. I just wore Raquel last week. I just love it. I've been trying to wear this more often, and I just love that shade. I haven't worn Brigitte in quite a while. I don't know why it's not stored like this. Raquel should be there. Okay, I just love these so much. And I saw just Kathleen Lights raving about her favorite products recently. Um, and also, like, she just updated her Holy Grail high-end products in, like, a video, like, last week. But she, it was basically her talking about her Holy Grail products that she posted, like, a year and a half ago of her favorite high-end products. And it basically hasn't really changed. But the last time she posted it, like, in 2014, I used all of those products on my face, like, last week. Because I was, like, so inspired to use the stuff that she loves. But I love that stuff, too. Like, I use the Chocolate Bar Palette, which is her favorite palette. And I use... Um, Makeup Eek Spellbound Blush, and then Nars's Madly Blush, and then I used the Balm's Mary Luminizer, and then I used Raquel on my lips, um, from Nars, and the reason why I used two blushes is because I used Spellbound during the day, and then I went over it with Madly at night, because then I went in with a red lipstick. Maybe I should have used Havana Nights, because it would have kept with the whole Kathleen Lights theme, but... I decided to use a Bite Beauty lipstick that I hadn't used yet, so we're just going to get into it right now. But yeah, that was my little story. I just love her so much, so she like inspired me to use a lot of like her favorite Holy Grail products. So then we're going to get into the lipsticks over here. I think I might just move this out of the way just so you can see them a little bit better. The you know what's opinion has about lipstick holders is that you're so worried that they're going to like topple over every time you move them. So now I have these lipsticks over here. I'll just pull them out a little bit. So here I have my Kat Von D Studded Kiss Lipstick in the shade Lolita. I love this so much. Then I have three Bite Beauty lipsticks. The only reason why I have three is because 
One is an old nude that I, I picked up like a while ago to try out a Bite Beauty lipstick. This one is from a holiday set and then this one is a red. So I have Salute, Pepper, and Black Cherry. This is one of their like Wild Berry new collection lipsticks and I finally wore it on my mom's birthday. I probably should have worn a liquid lipstick though just because we went and got Italian food and that has a lot of like oil in it. So it ended up bleeding but it looked so pretty before I ate but just after I ate it wasn't looking pretty anymore but whatever. So I have those three there. Then I have the Jara Cosmetics Serenity Hydra Matte Lipstick from Manny. I actually did wear this yesterday and I actually really do enjoy this. Um, it just sucks that I hate Gerard Cosmetics but um, I just love Manny so much, so I support him whenever I can. Um, but I wore this over Makeup Monsters blush yesterday, and it was drying when I first wore it just because I wanted to make Makeup Monsters blush a little bit more nude because it was a little bit too orange, so I wanted to go in with like an orangey nude. And after like literally only like 30 minutes, it did not feel drying anymore, and then it felt like nothing. Um, so honestly, I love every other brand over Galactic because if I decided to layer two Galactic matte lip paints, it would be so dry. And I even tried to layer lip gloss and it just didn't work. So, And then I just have one by The Balm, The Balm Meet Matt Hughes and Committed. I wanted to wear this tomorrow, but now I'm not going to be working. But we'll see if I'll be able to wear it at some point because I want to wear this at some point. I've been trying to wear my older lipsticks lately so I don't get too overwhelmed. Then I have two of my YSL lipsticks. Honestly, you know, I've really changed my opinion about these and I like barely wear them anymore. I wear my NARS Audacious lipsticks a lot more. I think those are so much better than these. But I have two of them. I have Nude Beige and I have Pink in Paris. I used to be obsessed with this. I used to wear it so much and now it's like I don't even really wear it anymore. The last time I wore it was like in a video like a few months ago, but whatever. And then the same with these, like, I much prefer the Kat Von D or the Bite Beauty lipsticks over these lipsticks here. Like, I know I don't mention regular lipsticks that much, but MAC, Kat Von D, Bite Beauty, and NARS, definitely the best ones you could try. The Bite Beauty ones are probably the most similar in texture to, like, Too Faced and Urban Decay because they have, like, that slippery consistency. But they're more pigmented and they stay on your lips a lot better than the Too Faced. Like, the Urban Decay are even better. But the Too Faced, which are these four right here, I have um, Nude Beach, Naked Dolly, Naughty Nude, and Taffy. I might do, like, an updated, like, lipstick, battle of lips, liquid lipsticks video. Not liquid lipsticks, regular lipsticks. But I feel like I just posted that and I talked about all the lipsticks that I don't really need to. I'm just thinking out loud. Um, but these I really don't like because they don't really stay on your bottom lip. You just have to like keep on reapplying them and it drives me crazy. So but those are the four that I have and I'm not going to get rid of them because I got them for such a good price during Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty. And it's actually going on right now. So I'm just going to go and pick up one thing that's on sale today. Um, if I see a primer that's on sale, I will go and buy it. And since primers are always like $30, this is half off. So I'm just going to go buy it at half off today. It's the Stila One Step Corrector. I've been wanting it like forever. So now it's on sale today. So I'm going to go buy it today a little bit later after I like do my makeup. Obviously, I'm not wearing any makeup right now until I have to go out. And then this is like the newest addition to my collection is how I'm storing my Too Faced Melted Lipsticks. Before, I was storing them in the back here in this back row where the Kat Von D and the Stila are. But then I moved those back there. And now I have all my Too Faced in one. This is so throwing me off though because I wish they were all Too Faced melted lipsticks. But the, the first row here I might have to get rid of at some point. But anyway, I just think it looks so cute with the melted metal and everything. I just think it looks so adorable. So back here I have all of my melted lipsticks. I have melted nude, melted peony, melted marshmallow, melted candy, melted strawberry, and melted rainbow. This is the only other one I haven't worn yet because this is going to be a summer shade that I'm going to be wearing a lot. So I'm saving that for the summertime. Then I have my three Too Faced Melted Metal lipsticks. I have Debutante, Tutu, and Bunny. And then I have two Melted Chocolate lipsticks, which I also love. I have um, Melted Honey and Melted 
melted milkshake and melted honey, right? Yes. These are amazing, but they also are coming out with melted matte lipsticks, and they just came out with melted matte, with, um, color-drenched matte lipsticks, too. And I was like, are you kidding me, Too Faced? Like, honestly, that's making me want to throw out all of these here because these are old and replace them with, like, the melted matte ones and then throw out these color-drenched ones and replace them all with matte ones. But then that, that'll just overwhelm me again because now, oh, I just get so overwhelmed with lip products. I don't know how other people do it. I really don't. And I always try to wear a lip product, like, every day, but sometimes it's a little bit hard. But anyway, um, so those are my Too Faced Melted Lipsticks. It looks so cute here. But I did decide to just store one Steel Stay All Day lipstick here just because it has the gold packaging. And I thought it was cute here. So this is just the newer shade that I got. And this one is called Carmelo. It's a really pretty color. So I just decided to store it with that. So that's what that is there. And then in the back, I have all of my Lime Crime lipsticks. You guys know they're like my favorite brand of liquid lipsticks. But I did decide to put some Lime Crime a couple more velveteens here because I did move other lipsticks to over here. I moved, moved like my Urban Decay here and my Tarte. Um, and then I moved my other Lime Crime velveteens in the front here. I probably should have put the Unicorn lipsticks here and the velveteens in the back. That probably would have made more sense. You know what? I'm just going to do that right now. Let's just move them too, because then the velveteens will be closer together. The only reason why I did it like this is because... Um, I have seven of these. If I had six, it would have been like so much easier. And I'm just going to store them like this. Can I store them like that? Yeah, I guess so. What color is this? Whatever, we're just going to put Contessa Fluorescent there for now. And then we're going to put these there. So we're going to put... I'm just keeping one velveteen down here for now just because I don't have room for it up there obviously so these are my Lime Crime Unicorn lipsticks I have okay I believe this one is holy crap I think this is a racer coquette duh then bay bat then eraser then clueless then Okay, that's a racer. <laughs> oh crap. All right, let's not. I think I just messed up the way I store these. Coquette. Um Baybette. Then we have Great Pink Planet. Then Clueless, Eraser, Gerardium, and Contessa Fluorescence. But I probably will arrange these how they're supposed to be at some point. It's going to bug me though if I don't do it now. So we're just going to move this here because my nudes should be first. And then I'm just going to move these over. So yeah, as I'm like rearranging, that's what they are. But I like also having like the unicorn in the front. I think it's like the cutest thing ever. Um, yeah, so just like this. Okay, so those are my Lime Crime Unicorn lipsticks, and then I have five velveteens in the holder. I also have one here, but this is a summer shade anyway, so I'm probably going to move one of these shades up here and replace it with this for the summertime. And this one is called True Love. It's from the Valentine's Day collection, and then these two are also from the Valentine's Day collection. This one is Cupid, actually these two, Cupid and Saint, and then this one is Polly here. These are the newest shades that I've gotten. I've already worn them a few times, and I love them. And then I have the two ones from the winter uh, Christmas collection, Buffy and Beat It. I also have the green one, too, but I just keep that one stored away because I'm never going to wear it. Um, that one is Peacock. So those are the Lion Crime Velveteens here. And then this hasn't changed in the back here. These are all the same. I have Cashmere, Suede Berry, Pumpkin, Riot, Utopia, Red Velvet, Bleach, Faded, Shroom, Pink Velvet, Wicked, and Salem. They're all in the packaging. Those are all my other Velveteens, obviously. And then this has not changed either. These are like, you know, lip glosses and lipsticks. My ColourPop Holiday lipsticks are here. Um, I have Last Dance. No, not Last Dance. Times Square, which I love that one. Um, 
This one I'm going to wear in the summer. It's called Be Merry. I know a Christmas sheet. One that's called a Christmas sheet. I mean a Christmas name in the summertime. But yeah, what are you going to do? Then this one is Bianca, which is actually my least favorite. That one is terrible. Then I have Last Dance, which is phenomenal. I love that red. And then Glitter, which is a great color too. I've worn these ones quite a bit. Then I have two Urban Decay lip glosses here. My favorite lip glosses ever. Liar and Kinky. I don't know why these don't get more talk about on YouTube. They're the best lip glosses in my opinion, next to my Bite ones. Speaking of Bite, I have two Bite Beauty lip glosses here. I have Remutan and Honey. They're kind of like packed in there. You know what they look like. Then I have one lip crayon, lip pencil in, in Glace, and then one lip crayon in Pomegranate. I actually haven't worn this one yet, but I will wear it eventually just because, again, I'm so afraid of wearing red lipsticks rather than liquid lipsticks when I go out to eat because I that's usually when I wear red lipsticks. Like, obviously, I'm not going to wear red lipsticks to work. So it's, like, kind of hard. Oh, my God. Sorry. Of course, like, everything has to fall when I put it back. Such a freaking pain in the ass. Um, like I said, I'm always worried about red lipsticks coming off, but I think I'm going to try it out today. Um, it is a bright red. I'm not going to wear it today. I'm probably going to wear Lolita today. Um, but I do want to wear it at some point. Maybe I'll end up even wearing it in like the summertime or something. And then I just have four Anastasia here. I actually really like the Anastasia lip glosses. They're really nice. I have Dainty in the back here. Then I have Undressed. And then I have Gilded. And then Pure Hollywood, which is the worst liquid lipstick ever. But it's a really pretty color. And yeah, that's pretty much it for my lipstick storage and collection. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, yeah, that's it. So please like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, CW819. My Twitter is Profi019 if you want to see the rest of all this stuff that I didn't include. Just check out my makeup collection. And then I just have, like, some random... Oh, damn, I forgot about these two lipsticks down here. Sorry. Um, I have two lipsticks down here because I keep, like, a couple of, like, mini ones in this little holder here. So I just have my two Lolita mini lipsticks here. I have Lolita and Lolita 2 from the Lolita Lipstick Duo. And then I have, well, I already showed you that one. And then I just have a Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Lip Gloss and a NARS Orgasm Lip Gloss, which I love. And, oh my god, I didn't talk about these two lip glosses. I just said Urban Decay, and then I went right over to these. Sorry, I have my Mar Marc Jacobs, um, what is this called? Enamored High Shine Lip Lacquer in Moon Glow. I love this. In Moon Glow, I can't talk. I was like, Moon Glow. And then I have Narz's Lip Gloss in Chelsea Girls right here, which I love all these. I've worn them quite a few times, and that's it. Bye.